Hello everyone. In this question, we have been given two statement, and we have to find out which one is true or whether both of them are true. Okay. So the statement one is that there exist x p x implies for all x q x equivalent to for all x p x implies q x. Okay. And statement two is there exist for all x p x and q x equivalent to for all x p x and for all x q x okay so this is a recall kind of question and we should know that let's first write down so we should remember that for all for all is distributive over and so this for all is distributive over and let's write it down for all is distributive over and okay so it is distributive I'm writing and there exist is distributive over or okay so this is there exist it will be distributive over or how to remember this we uh, this is for all right and for all we write it sort of it is something like or but it's not distributive over or that's why I write it like this I just uh, make a trick to remember fine now we should also remember that for there exist in case of and what happens so when we break this there exist over and it is an implication sign here okay similarly when we break this for all over or okay it is reverse implication like implication in reverse direction okay so like this you can remember now using these points we can solve this question here so the statement 2 is simply a recall so you can see it's a and here okay and this is for all quantifier universal quantifier and we know universal quantifier is distributive over distributive over and operation okay so this is true fine now let's say let's consider statement one so statement one is so this is our statement one now if we rewrite this left hand side we can write or <coughs> not of there exist x p x or for all x q x okay and right hand side can be written as <coughs> for all x px not px or qx right it's simply what we are doing we are just we know that when we have p implies q here we can write not p or Q, right so that's what we are doing here now let's write it down what we do is we try to make these things quantifier similar or same so what we do is we move this negative sign inside so what will be there uh, the left hand side now so it will be for all we know that when negative sign I mean the existential quantifier crosses the negative sign it changes to different existential I mean uh, universal quantifier so this will be universal quantifier now when we write negative here px or for all x for all x qx okay and this will be equivalent to here So let it be we don't write anything right now in uh, right hand side so we just copy it so it will be for all x not px or qx. Now you can see that here we have same quantifier this is also universal this is also universal okay and this sign is or. So what do we know can we I mean is this universal quantifier distributive over or 
so that we can write it uh, for all x not px or qx so we have just learned that universal quantifier this universal quantifier is distributive over and not or right so we cannot write like this but we know what what we can write from this so if we can use this thing this point this whole thing we can write this implies I mean let's write it down so we can write here that this whole thing implies for all x not px or qx right and of course we can write it down px imp implies qx right this inside thing we can write so now you can see this left hand side which we have got and this is same okay but this this from previous step we cannot write this because this is not equivalent to this right this is implication sign okay if it was equivalent to this then we could write this and then we can say that this statement is true right but here we have implication this implies this it means if we would have in statement one here in statement one if we would have this implication sign here then this statement was also true s1 was also true right but as we have equivalence sign so this statement is false I mean it's not a valid statement okay so only s2 is true s1 is not true not val valid statement so our b option is correct here